Hi, I'm Dean Argent, a university qualified mechanical engineer, and I'm the owner of used vehicle sales. I got a cold and sound like an idiot.com.au. In this video, I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of this 2004 model uh, Holden Rodeo automatic that I got for sale here on my yard. It's a 4x4 and it's the LX, which means it's got luxury with lots of extras. <laughs> so let's go for a walk around. First thing I like to do when I choose these cars, have a look down there, see the reflections in the paintwork. You can see there if there's any dents, not a dent. Look how the tyres are wearing. They're wearing very evenly across the surfaces. Tells me lots of good things that all the suspension, geometry, steering componentry is working like it should. If you have a look across the bonnet, you'll see that there's like nothing to speak of in the way of stone chips or anything like that, especially for a car of these amount of kilometres. It's done some work. I'm not pretending it's a new car because it's not, but it's a very well preserved and very well kept used car. Same down this side, not a dent. Let's go for a walk around and we'll show you show you all the way around and we'll show you some of the, the things that you can expect to see with this fine automobile. So it comes with the aluminium wheels. I like the chrome on the mirrors because it really sets it off. It makes them look the goods, you know. So got the, the window uh, deflector. So if you're a dirty rotten smoker, you can have the window down, let the smoke get sucked out. Not that the previous owner was. Or if you're a lovely lady, you don't have to mess your hair up while the windows are down cruising down the highway. Comes with the, uh, see we've got the light covers when someone puts those and those and the canopy and the roof racks and all those aftermarket features on you can tell that it's been bought by someone who really cares about their car because they spend all that money on the extras because all that holding stuff's just not cheap so it's got all the power windows the central lock and all that stuff got the cruise control happening here um, if you have a look at the condition of these seats like I'm not pretending they haven't been sat in, I'm not pretending it's a new car, but I tell you what, it's in bloody good shape for a car of these Ks. Mechanically, it's spot on. Everything works and runs just like it should. Have a look in here, I'll give her a kick in the guts. Start her up, starts like that, first go. Every time, all the lights go off the dash, which is exactly what you want to see. Well, the brake light won't, because unless I take the park brake off and the door won't, unless I shut the door. But um, as you can see, if we've got the T-Bar Auto there, and you can select drive and as you do that the little green light changes on there which is pretty cool it's got power and third i don't know what it does but it's got it so um you've got the uh, air condition which is icy cold that works a treat across here the radio with the six cd stacker thingy in it and um and oh sorry there's the cruise control on that side this side's the uh, blinkers and stuff so there's all the shenanigans going on on the inside of this 2004 automatic Holden Rodeo. So in the blue colour, let's go for a look in the back. So if you've got kiddies and you want to strap them in, because that's what this utes, these kind of utes are good for, is you can just pull that, oh I need two hands to do this, you got to give that a tug like that, <clears throat> and you've got the, the harness points there, one two and three of them if you want to put three seats in the back this bit of seat belt hanging down here that just so she's the lap sash it comes down one half plugs into there then the other half goes across to here so it's just so you can get out of the way when you're not carrying three passengers so you can see the condition of the back seats it looks like they've hardly ever been sat in there's some marks there but geez not many i know if it was my place the car within about a week should be filthy no matter how clean it was when i tried to drive it out so it's got the canopy with the sides and I think someone might have had dogs in here because see the um, the rails and so well here there's a condition looks like it hasn't even been cleaned so a few little bits and pieces of junk in there but um, got the light up the back there and the canopy the front windows that open so the dog can stick his nose out and straight into the back glass that you're gonna be impossible to bloody clean <laughs> that's what I think that's all about got the roof racks up the top there if you want to hang your long loads of things on and come around the back here so looks like those struts aren't working real well so they should have to be fixed up but um that's about the only issue with the car other than that you're going to find it's in great shape so when the backs of the trays look like this inside the ute it always tells me that it's never been a tradies car so it hasn't been bashed around like yeah it's got little bits of paint scuff on it but all in all it's in bloody good condition so um i'm just gonna Close this. Hold on, I just gotta close that, lock this. There we go. So she's the LT. Means like lots of toughness. 
I don't know what it means, but I know when it's got LT on it, they've got alloy wheels and central locking, cruise control, all that stuff. It comes obviously with the tow bar on the back there. Uh, it's got quite a bit of red joe. I'll cover that off in a moment when I... Oh, it's got a free dent. There we go. Sorry, I said before it doesn't have a dent. It's got one dent and I will include that for free. <laughs> Aren't I generous? There we go. So let's have a look around back here. So I'll just... I'm just trying to just calmly go around and show you everything as I walk around. You can see everything that you'd want to see, point out any defects or dents or things, of which we just found one. As you can see, there surely is. So, that is a walk around of this magnificent 2004 model, Holden Rodeo 4x4, the 3.5 litre gutsy V6 petrol. Uh, given an idea on um on oh, and automatic that was the big thing there so get an idea on fuel usage people often ask me how many kilometers per liter i don't know but what i do know is when they've got a 3.5 liter motor in them if you compare them to say this one here is like a mazda tribute that's got a three liter motor in it they're not too bad compare it to that uh prado over there that's got a four liter petrol motor in it so how much fuel will it use it'll use somewhere between that one and that one, because the motor's about half the size, all else being equal. But still got plenty of power and plenty of towing capacity if that's what you need to do. So, what I wanted to tell you now is my hardcore sales pitch. Brace yourself. Here we go. What I want to tell you is that in my yard here, we do things differently than most yards. We are on dirt. I don't have concrete. I don't have salesmen. I don't have all those flags and all that shit. I don't believe in all that stuff. What I do is I keep the prices down and keep the quality of the cars up because all the money goes back into the cars instead of all that fancy shit that you frankly couldn't care less about. So, so what does that mean? It means that when the cars come in, we do three levels of inspection on each one. Firstly, we do a road test, a yard test, and then that raised roof there, that's our workshop, we've got the hoist under there. We lift the cars up in the air and um, I've just got to cover the wind. And then the roadworthy guy goes under them, we check 140 things. So the car, when we check those, we finally we service the car as well, and all that's done. So I'll cover that all more in just one moment. But as you can see, this is our outfit here. We've got dogs that are the security department. We've got a gate that's always locked, okay? So you need to make an appointment if you want to come in and see us, because I don't have people on standby waiting to, to uh, pounce on you and do their hardcore sales tactics on you. Doesn't work like that here, that's just not what we do all the prices are fixed i do it so it's just easy and there's no bullshit so if you ask me dean are you negotiable on the price i'll be like yeah i'm negotiable but why don't you want to pay more <laughs> that's what i'll say but in all reality just to make it fair easy and simple i lead with my best price that is the last price you have to make an appointment to come out because otherwise well you could try drop in but there's a good chance that we won't be here or the gates will be locked or that the security department might come and say hello <laughs> so that's my sales pitch how are we doing you still with me? Because you probably want to know now what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised for. Okay, well, I'm about to tell you. There's a whole bunch of things that comes with it. It's your no-fuss, drive-it-out price. You don't pay any extra. There's no sw smash you with this fee or that fee. There's none of that, right? So here's how it works. That comes with the rego. Have a look on the page up above, like it, on the text here that's written above the video. You'll see how much rego's on it. It includes your stamp duty, your transfer fees, all your government fees and charges. They're all included in the price. So there's nothing else to pay to drive the vehicle away. It includes fresh service. So when we did all those inspections I was telling you about before, we serviced the vehicle as well. It comes with a roadworthy certificate by Queensland Government Authorised Inspector. And it got guaranteed no money owing, guaranteed never been written off, guaranteed never stolen. I'll show you all that stuff on the paperwork when you come on down. Comes with 12-month um, roadside assist if you want it. Ask me how that works when you come down, but if you want, want a roadside assistance program that'll cover you for flat battery, flat tyre, out of fuel, lose your keys, whatever, then I'll put that on. Oi! Oi! Stop it! Sorry, folks, I was just worried because they were coming this way. I was worried about I was about to get bold because I'm standing here holding my phone up, videoing myself, and I can see them coming towards me. And I value my knees not being taken out by those bullheads. So... Uh, so, if you need help with your finance, there is a link at the top of the page that says No Deposit Finance. You can click on that, watch the short video, put your details in, then our finance guy will get back in touch with you, and he'll let you know how much it's going to cost you per week to drive away in this fine automobile. If you want to just come down and pay cash, you can do that. If you want to um, pay by internet transfer, bank deposit, cash, uh, uh, bank check, 
whatever you want, just let me know and we can send you an invoice or do whatever we've got to do. Oh my. Oi! They're two boys. Stop it. Stop it. These dogs. Now, when I'm recording the videos, you two don't dry root each other. You got that? Huh. Now, folks, oh, sorry, I was just about finished. What I was saying is if you need help with your finance, there is a link at the top of the page that says no deposit finance. Click on that, put your details in, and our finance guy will come back to and give you a quote how much it'll cost you per week to drive this away. So if you want to come down, pay cash or bank transfer or whatever, just sing out, let me know. If there's anything I haven't covered, feel free to drop me a text or give us a call. I'll be happy to talk with you or ask any other questions that you've got. I'm Dean Argent. Thanks for watching my video and sorry about the inappropriate background content. Try to keep this as family friendly as uh, we can.